Eggs can be used in many different ways in cooking because they will coagulate or set at a given temperature. We'll be using eggs to make a cheese and tomato flan, showing how the process of coagulation can be used to set a liquid mixture. To begin with, you'll need a pre-baked, short crust pastry case that has been baked blind. If you try to use an unbaked pastry case for this recipe, the chances are you'd get a soggy and disappointing result. Place the flan case still in the flan tin onto a baking tray. As with all baking, it is important to preheat the oven. Set it at gas mark 5 or 190 degrees centigrade for an ordinary electric oven or 180 degrees centigrade if you're using an electric fan oven and allow time for the oven to reach the correct temperature. Now we'll make the filling and we'll start by preparing the vegetables. Make sure to use a brown or green chopping board to prevent cross-contamination and use the bridge hold and the claw grip when preparing them. Wash and then slice the mushrooms. Make sure they're all the same thickness so they cook evenly. Dice the onion into small pieces about the size of your small fingernail and then evenly slice the tomatoes. Finally, you'll need to grate the cheese onto a plate or a white chopping board. You could always use a combination of different cheeses to increase the range of flavours. Alternatively, you might want to reduce the fat content and use a low-fat cheese instead. Don't forget you could add other ingredients to your filling, such as sweet corn, ham, bacon or chopped peppers. When all the filling ingredients have been prepared, scatter the onions, mushrooms and grated cheese into the pastry case and spread them out evenly. Crack the eggs into a bowl. Remember to move the eggshells to the bin immediately to prevent any salmonella risk and wash your hands afterwards. Lightly whisk the eggs with a fork. Then add the milk to the eggs and blend together until well mixed. Season the mixture with pepper. Pour the egg mixture over the filling, taking care not to overfill the pastry case. Then add the slices of tomato onto the surface. Taking appropriate care, place the flan into the preheated oven. The flan will need to be baked for 25 to 35 minutes until it is golden brown and firm to the touch. During the baking process, the proteins in the egg will change from a liquid to a solid because the heat makes the protein molecules denature. At about 60 degrees centigrade, egg white proteins start to coagulate or set and at about 70 degrees centigrade, the proteins in the yolk coagulate. One way of thinking about this is to notice how a fried egg cooks. The egg white always sets before the egg yolk. When coagulation occurs, the egg proteins change their appearance and texture. The cooked flan can be eaten hot or cold. If it is to be eaten later, it needs to be completely cooled before being placed in a refrigerator. Notice how firm the egg mixture has become and how the process of coagulation has turned the liquid mixture into a solid.